Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, another adventure. Just had a huge walk in across farmland. And fortunately that rain actually stopped for my hike in because I was worried I was going to get soaked. So the plan is, I'm on some private land, a friend of mine's let me come and do this on. It's farmed up the top, the rest is all this uh, redwood forest. So yeah, the first plan is to get this tarp up because I've got 14 millimeter dew in about an hour. So yeah, get the tarp up, get the tent set up, get everything set up, and I'll get back to you. Tarp set up. Alright, so today I'm using the One Tigress 3x4 tarp. Just received this from them along with a tent which I'll be doing on my next trip. So, yeah, One Tigress, thank you very much for this. I'm excited to test it out tonight. Burning up, burning up. There we go, that's better. It was a hot walk in. That'll do. Right. Perfect.
Such a It's actually a really nice colour paracord. Seems good quality as well. to just string this corner up to one of those trees over there. We can tension it all afterwards. It's going to be needing a bit of tweaking. That's all right. She's a bit tight, but it'll work. There we go. Put that on a bit of an angle. Adjust that later. All right. See, now I'm safe. Now I've got my shelter. So if it does start to rain, all the gear's protected. And once I get the tent set up, it just increases the protection. And put everything in there. stand up underneath it as well.
can hear that weird noise in the background, it's actually peacocks. There's lots of peacocks that live up in this area where I am. They make a strange call, like many birds in New Zealand. Ah, the good old nature hype monger. I love this tent. It can handle the rain. It's nice and roomy, lightweight, quick to set up. It's one of my favourite tents. Yeah, where'd that go? Got about an hour of light left, if that. So it's going to be a short, short night. There'll be more shots of tomorrow. Once again, I'm using the Bushbuck Cumulus sleeping pad. This thing hasn't failed me. Sleeping bag, I'm using the Nature Hike Snowbird 2. So this one's rated to 2 degrees. So it'll probably be a bit overkill, but it's a nice comfy bag. Duck down and it's nice lightweight. If you've watched my videos, you would have seen me use the Nature Hike chair, lightweight chair and table. So this just clicks together real quick. Such a neat setup. There's actually a lot of companies that have this design. Uh, Nature Hike sent this to me about a year ago. It was the first um, first item that we collaborated on together. And uh, it's been really good. I'm 91 kilos and uh, supports my weight easily just clips together like so nice and easy open them up a bit can be a bit hard to get that last one on here we go nice I've also got the table as well which is perfect for cooking on and all that kind of jazz. Same thing, clicks together nice lightweight. I'm not getting paid to say this or shout out the item, it's just a really good item which I've been using for a few years. The Nature Hike stuff's really good, well most of it anyway. Some of it is a bit flawed 
a little bit budget. There we go. Right. We've got table and chair out of the rain. How good's that? All right, everyone. As you can see, I'm all set up, and it has just gone. Let me check the time. It's just gone 8 p.m. So I've got about 30 minutes of light left, and I've actually come straight from work because I couldn't miss the opportunity of all the rain that's coming tonight and tomorrow. So with that said, I'm going to get on to dinner. Tonight I'll be using my alcohol cooker, frying pan, and I'm going to be cooking up some wraps, some healthy wraps, so some beef, coleslaw, some sauces and stuff. Nice, quick and easy dinner. And of course, I've got some beverages to go along with that. And hopefully that rain it's going to hit us very soon. I was expecting it to be chucking down while I was trying to set up, but fortunately I've had this window. We've only been here for 40 minutes, so... It's a little bit wonky, the tarp at the moment. It's got a bit of a crease through the middle. So I think I'll do some adjusting as well. But yeah, interested to see how this new One Tigress tarp performs. It's a 3x4. And I forget the specs, I think it's 70D silicon nylon. I'll have to check that. I may have reception, I may not. I'm sure. So yeah, I'm going to get on to dinner. Alright, so you can probably see, I've got the light on already. It's already getting dark. So on the menu tonight, I've just got some uh, diced beef. Pretty simple, diced beef. I'm just going to fry that in the pan with a bit of onion. And then that's going straight in to these Italian herb wraps with uh, a cold slaw mix, which is here. Sorry, ranch slaw. See that? So a pretty, pretty basic dinner, but it'll be nice, nice and filling. So I'm gonna get going, get my alcohol stove running before we run out of light. She first things. Need my chopping board, and my Kmart chopping board. This is excellent. All right, chop up my onion first.
these new bottles from the chemist. It's like a makeup remover bottle. So perfect for the methylated spirits. Need to drill a bigger hole in it though. There we go. That should last us. Yeah, it seems I've forgotten a lighter, but I've got some backup matches and I have got my flint and steel with my knife if the matches didn't work. Light this up here. thing with the alcohol stove is this one folds away in my pot and I just enjoy using it it's silent you know gas cookers are loud I have a lot of fun with this one and I think it's pretty efficient with the heat as well but the thing is it's just one heat the whole time so you need to be careful that you don't burn things sometimes you have to take things off and put them on to keep the heat down Right, I need some butter. Let's heat this up. I should have got my butter out, but I didn't. There it is. And here comes the rain. Lovely. Nice dollop of butter. There we go. Find out how this tarp handles it. If the weather prediction's correct, which I think it is because the radar doesn't lie too much. We should get about 15 mils tonight up until midnight and then right through into tomorrow. So it's going to be a wet one. Actually, I've got a bit of cooking oil. I might actually just add some of that in. A little bit there. It'll help get the heat up to cook the meat a bit quicker. saying help help someone camping on my property interesting creatures the peacock I don't really know much about them but they're always around here whenever I'm up here bit of wind picking up. Not sure what the wind's doing actually, I'll have to check. I 
All right. Definitely way too much meat, but that's okay. I'll make sure I eat it all. It's almost done. Once it's cooked, it's actually shrunk a bit, so it's worked out to be quite a good amount. I'll save that for the next one. Veggies. Now, I'm not sure how this one opens. What I'll do is just make a small incision. There we go. It can sit up against there. And we have our wrap. Oh, shit, I've got both there. There we go. What does it taste like though? As you can see it's pretty dark now too. It took me a while for that meat to cook. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Alright everyone, so the beverage for tonight. Rain was coming in under the tarp for a second. Cheers everyone, thank you for joining me on another Camping in the Rain adventure. Mmm.
as you can hear the rain just drizzling pretty light also quite a bit of wind as well which I wasn't aware of so I'm gonna go around and port everything up I'll leave this corner so you can down a bit so the water can run off but yeah she's she's a little breezy Right everyone, I'm in the tent, absolutely chucking down. It's just gone 10.30pm. I've got a movie to watch on my phone and just listen to the rain. It's meant to be some thunder 
early a.m. like 1, 2, 3 a.m. so we'll see if that turns up I'll wake up to that I don't think I'm going to have a great sleep without earplugs anyway so if it gets wild I'll get out there with the camera in the meantime movie to watch I've got some lollies and yeah just enjoy it I got my uh, hiking pack propped under my mattress so it forms like a bit of a elevated pillow section <laughs> just so I'm not laying flat making my neck sore anyway we'll see you all in the morning uh, bacon and eggs for brekkie nice and simple hopefully I've got enough fuel otherwise it'll be a hike out to the car to get some more or worst case I can just get some sticks and use it as a wood stove so we'll deal with that in the morning anyway Thank you for joining me. If you're still watching this far in, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully more rain. See you then. Thanks everyone. Good morning everyone. It was a really wild night. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep at all. I, I actually was up at about 4.50 a.m. I believe. And I put one of my documentaries on. I've got on my phone, saved to my phone. Just to time him out a bit more because the possums were in vast numbers last night and here in New Zealand the possums we have they're a pest but the issue is the noise they make they make this I can't even describe it I'll try capture it uh, tonight I don't know why I didn't record it last night but it's this blood curling gritty I don't know it's hard to explain anyway they were going from about 1am till probably 5 and the rain stopped about 5am and it got real calm and I think I've had a good sleep from then till now it's just gone 7.30am I think 
Yeah. Anyway, besides all that bad sleep, it's worth it because I'm waking up to this beautiful view of this redwood forest. Quite mature trees as well, I believe. I'm not sure how old they are, but they're not huge in diameter, they're just tall. But yeah, awesome spot. I don't know what was happening there, it wasn't recording. So anyway, I've lit my little stove and I forgot the bacon. So it's just gonna be eggs, but I've decided I'm gonna um, scramble them around and put them in my wraps, my leftover wraps. So yeah, it'll still be yum. I've got limited methylated spirit fuel too, so I don't even know if I would have had enough for the bacon to be honest. These are going to be delicious. Need to twirl it around a bit, turn it into a bit of a scrambled egg. Doesn't look like much, but it'll be yummy. It'll make up for the uh, bacon that I left either in the car or at home. I bet you it's in the car. On the subject of cooking, If anyone's got any ideas on some new things I could try, cook, comment it down below and let me know. Because I'm always looking for new ideas and new recipes and things to cook up while camping. So if you've got something in mind, comment it below. You would have seen these last night. The Telling herb wraps. They're really good. I'm excited to try this egg and salad mix. Alright, guess I'll do some egg first. <laughs> oh, forgot the bacon, man. What an idiot. Trouble is, I bring so much gear in, it's inevitable that I'm going to forget something, even if it's something little. The worst thing is forgetting SD cards or camera batteries, that's depressing, that can't happen. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. I'm not going to put too much salad in here. Cheers everyone.
Hmm. It turns out getting creative with the uh, food paid off. It was delicious. Looks very grim out in the distance behind the pines. Oh, that was delicious. Made up for not having the bacon, which I think is probably in my car over the hills. But that's all good. Nice yummy brekkie. Yeah, I was going to talk about the COVID situation, I'm not going to get too far into it. But here in New Zealand we've just come out of, in my part of the country we've just come out of, I think, up to four months. So what's that? Four, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Sixteen weeks of being in a lockdown where we can't go into retail, you know, we can't go into campgrounds, recreational stuff, um, so much stuff that we can't do trying to go into a shop you've got to wait at the door and ask what you want stuff like that and I actually work in retail I work at a fishing shop so it's been really hard telling people you're not allowed in you know people want to come in and be hands-on with stuff they want to buy it's very difficult I'll show you all this light so, a company by the name of Oxbeam AUX Beam sent me this now this is a 2000 lumen rechargeable magnetic LED flashlight or floodlight or you call it so I use this for my night filming I've actually got another one just haven't taken it out of the package yet uh, USB-C chargeable and it actually has a built-in power bank so if my phone's running low I can charge my phone off it it's got a big battery in it so I'll bring it over and show you close up so yeah it's got two Cree LEDs in it panel lights, uh, opens up, it's got magnets, so for the van camping, you would have seen my van camping vid, magnets to the steel inside the cab of the van, uh, nice directional, and yeah, it does all kinds of weird twisty stuff, but this has been a great light for my night filming, I think I do need something a bit larger though, just to emit a bit of stronger light especially with the darker tarp and the darker forest that I'm in so I'll definitely be upgrading or I will try two of these first but um, yeah been a great a great light does all kinds of stuff yeah I normally got it on two and that stays on for about it'll probably run continuously for three hours but um, I do give it a break now and then and I've got a few other torches that I use as well. But um, yeah, really good torch. So thank you Oxbeam for that. They're actually sending me another couple of little headlamps as well. So excited to test those out as well.
I'm just going to stuff the tarp in because it'll be coming out again later to dry anyway. All right, everyone, that wraps up this trip. Got about a kilometer through grass up to my waist and pretty up and down farmland. All rutted out from the cattle. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy rain camping like this, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. And we'll see you on the next adventure, which will be a week out from when this one was uploaded so we'll see you then cheers everyone <laughs>